Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Veriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. We are inside of the Meat Hall of Faldhan. And you might remember on the previous episode we were training with Elfward, I know, Elfmar's men. And uh, let's see what he has to say now. Friend Horn would be glad to see his home again. Your road surely runs northwest now to Eowarth. No doubt your friend Horn will be glad to see his home again, and you may be able to learn where the Uruks cross the river, if they still live. As you travel through the Endwash Vale, it lay any mounted enemies you encounter. With such speed they could double back and cause trouble for Falham or for towns in the Sudcrops, and I do not wish that. Your friends are just outside, I believe. Speak with them and give them my thanks for helping to train my men. Okay, but we still have plenty of stuff to do here in Faltham, so you might remember that Elfmar also wanted us to help his men, the Elf Ward. And the first quest that we have is from Nutwolf here. The Rohirrim will need your aid. Greetings, Beriathan. My concern lies with a growing threat from the wooded area to the east. The crofters tell tales of strange, monstrous creatures seen lurking in the shadows. Of late, a drunken farmer was attacked while pacing the woods at night. Stories of the beast that came upon him have many worried. Speak with the elder Thahard about this matter. He is wise and has been studying these events with some earnest. Alright. So that's what we'll be doing for the most part in this episode, I believe. And that'll be assisting the Elf Ward. But first, let us see what our friends have to say. Eoworth sits very near to Fangorn. I would like to see that forest, if we may. Eoward sits on cliffs at a bend of the Endwash to the north. Were we to follow the river past the city, we would eventually arrive at the forest of Fangorn. I have heard tales of Fangorn that make me most curious to see it, but to hear Horn speak of it, I cannot imagine he will want us to get any closer to it than Eoward. Is it that true, Horn? I thought we might need to go to Eoweth. It is my home. It is my home, but I have not been there to stay in several years. I returned briefly for a few days after Theoden King ordered me to Stangard and before I left Rohan. My father was pleased to see me go, I think. His name is Inkbert and he is the Reef of the Endwash Vale. He trained both Prince Theodred and Eomer when they were young. He trained me as well, but I did not impress him as much as they did. He is a hard man. I hope my family troubles will not distress you. Nona? Well... You will not think much of Nona. I will follow your lead at the airport, Veriathan. I do not want my family to cause any trouble for you or our companions. I do not understand why Horn is reluctant to return to his home. Or perhaps I do. I do not understand why Horn is reluctant to return to his home. If I were to return to Lanok now, I would be glad to see Suvulk. I would introduce him to Kodan and to Horn. Nona falls silent for a moment. Perhaps I see why Horn is not eager to see his home again. Well, we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, first, as you see, we'll need to fight the mounted enemies in the end, Wash Vale. But, uh, well, we also need to, to complete our errands in Faldham. So. We need to find Thahart, talk to him about the strange creatures. Where is he? Inside this house? Our mission is dire. Welcome, visitor. What questions have you for old Thahart? What I know of the beasts you seek is collected from traditional folk tales, the stories told by wives to scare children into good behavior or to keep fools from wandering the woods at night. Listen closely and I will recall the truth of the matter. In the tales they are called Latvir. They were once ordinary bears but are now possessed by foul spirits. Their wicked hosts have been worked into dangerous, frightening creatures intended for serving a darker purpose. None that I know have ever claimed to see such a sight and I have thought them not but a myth. 
The local sightings have greatly concerned me as the terrifying description matches with the latter tales. Our mission is dire. You must inspect this beast for yourself. Take this meat and see it before the creatures of the woods. I know not if this will lure a latper, but if you manage a closer inspection, be ready to defend yourself from the wrath. In here, a guard of Faltham has gone east to explore the edge of the woods not long before you. When you are satisfied with your inspection, stick out in here to discover what he may have learned. I think we can remove these for the time being. Let us go uh, find the lot bears. So of course, these are mounted enemies, but not from the Endwash Veil. That will not work for the epic. That's okay. I'll need to, well, take care of that later for now. This is what we were looking for. But I wasn't tracking this. My bad. Some a curious lab bear seem to be drawn out by your bait. Where are they? Okay, here they come. And here we have sword reapers, so might be worth going to fight that warband at least. Yeah, we even got it. The fearsome lab bear sweat reaper has left the confines of his den to ravage the countryside of the Norcrofts. All who cross his path face immense danger. Um, fancy that, he's right here. The hulking Latver Sweat Reaper has been put to rest. His deadly claws and menacing teeth will cease to threaten the farmers of the Norcrofts. But! My god, I do need to get rid of something here. Langhold Banner. Bloodwind Banner. Hardwick Cannon. So once again, I'm not a big fan of the Norcroft imagery. We have a Langhold, Langhold Banner. He repeated. We can open this. 35 marks, okay. And now let us open this. You don't have enough room to do that. We can destroy this. Cliving banner. Well, I think I already have one of those, but still. That is a nice addition. Okay, so now we can look for the other in Rohirrim. So how do you pronounce that? In here, in here, uh, in here. I'm not sure. What brings you to these lands? You handled those ladder quite well. It seems that Zahart was correct. The myths of old are based in truth. But why have these creatures suddenly returned? Something must have roused them from their slumber, and now they are eagerly seeking living prey. Thank you for aiding in investigating our foe. Rest a moment and allow me to consider what must be done. The Rohirrim have need of your services. The latter seem to have been roused by some event, perhaps by the same occurrence that has caused such fervor in the Roman orcs. Yet, they largely have remained cautious and distant, perhaps still fearing the sons of riders preparing for combat. If this has kept them at length, then we must convince the Latver that the Aerolingas are still here in force. I will lend you my battle horn, Warden. 
sounding the horn while riding in the woods will perhaps frighten the ladder into a return to hibernation. I will remain on watch and ensure that no ladder approach the village. Do I really need to be on horseback to sound the horn? No, not necessary. Oh, come on. The latter have become disturbed by your actions in their territory and have become more active in seeking intruders. The disturbed latter must be defeated before they turn their aggressions towards the crofters on the outskirts of Faldom. Fair enough. There we have it. Okay, worsted level twenty eight. That's nice. The disturbed Latver were una unable to injure any of the people of Fod, I mean the regression, due to your efforts to defeat them. Need to find an ideal location for the horn. This will still draw some Latvers to us. Here they come. now what business have you with the Rohirrim if the threat of mounted warriors does nothing to discourage these brutes then they are indeed more dangerous than I had perceived you have done well to overcome the ladder you have encountered thus far but it may require more drastic actions if we are to subdue these menace entirely our success depends upon our strength will you it is as I feared the spirit will not be intimidated, and our problem can only be resolved when the matrons of the slot have been dealt with. Finding the matrons may prove difficult. The latter have been secluded in darkness, lurking among the shadows of the valley to the east. I believe this is where their den may lie. Search for the latter den beyond the trees and eliminate any matrons found within. Take courage, for the dark spirits that infest the latter may still be restless within their dwelling. I must soon return to Faldam. The hour draws near, and I am needed by my allies. When you have seen to this matter, speak to Sahart at his home. Good fortune to you, Beryathan. Alrighty then, and I'm not sure if you saw it there, but this will give us also the chance of getting our next piece of the Northrop here. This will be really... Really cool. Just gotta find the entrance to the matron stand. Which right now I'm not sure where. What what's the way to it? Seems yeah, that doesn't seem to be it. So So 
words away exactly. We have here Sword Reaper as respawned. Um, but I think, well, now that we have defeated Sword Reaper, I think we have uh, confronted all the warbands of the Norcroft. We have Haglop the Trolls, Kutok, Dahamap, Sword Reaper. Oh yeah, that seems to be it. We have discovered the Valley of the Latware. And I guess we'll... We'll need to fight our way through. You have entered into the ladder then. Handling the ladder with tactics and cunning has proven to be unsuccessful. Desperation calls for a brute force as a response to a fearless foe that cannot be reasoned with. The ladder's malevolent plans are unknown. They may be rallying a host to assail the farms while the riders of Pathfinder are occupied with the advances of the orcs. To strike against them before they are ready for such an endeavor and thin their numbers to prevent them from amassing such a force. Sure. I'll just need to find a way towards the matrons. So we need to find three different matrons in this place. So Seems we'll really need to explore this in full. But no, that, that is not it. Oh, come on. Yeah. That seems kind of familiar. Um. I don't think we have seen something like this on the game before, at least on this one. But it is reminiscent of the Path of the Dead. And if you play the Return of the King game for a PC, GameCube, and PS2, it, it does seem very similar. Okay, here we have the first matron. Are... Where is the path now? Pretty sure this cannot be it. But what is the path then? Because it seems there was a path for here all along. Yeah, this one. Not sure how I missed this, but okay. This is another matron. They're only disturbed lad wearers. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome.
Lot per matron. Okay, here you are. Okay, so it seems we were already here. Is this the path that we took initially? Okay, I see one that we have not taken yet, which is this one over here. So it stands to reason the last matron should be in that area. Yeah, that was very simple indeed. to Sahar. Okay. With their numbers hindered and any vengeful plot against the Rohirrim will be slow to develop. The people of Faldam have been afforded a reprieve from the danger of an imminent ladder attack thanks to your actions. Cool. Now, where was the exit again? Need to ride back to Zahart's farm. Let us see if we can do that. Got a farm now. So let us jump this fence. Please tell me that we did it. Because this jumps on war states can be tricky sometimes. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Admirably handled, Verathan. Without our matrons, the Ladbury numbers should be fragile enough so as not to risk assaulting our homes directly. I will endeavor to pass on the tale of your deed, so that the account of the Ladbury's danger might be heeded as a warning of true peril and not told as harmless fable or children's tale. Had you not intervened, we may have learned a most difficult lesson. Return to Not Wolf and put his mind at ease. Yeah, these farmlands are really big and better to cut through them than around them. Oh, what do we have here? The Rohirrim have need of your services. These lands are far too dangerous. Theoden King keeps safe only those within his walls, and so my family makes for Edoras at once. I worry about providing for my family once we reach the great city. If I had some pelts to sell at the market, I would feel much better about making the journey. Please gather some hides for me so that I might care for my children. Go with haste. I cannot afford to hesitate any longer and we shall depart shortly. So yeah, I thought as much. We would have about 10 minutes to do it. And even though we have plenty of time, since I'm not sure what the next part of the questline will be, I, I don't want to make it, take any chances. And... Uh, Yeah, this this sort of
of timed quest always get to me. I I really like to do them as fast as possible. But you could have told me. I've been fighting a lot of lappers. Does Sweat Ripper count for this? No. Which is a shame. With you, what's up with you resisting all my attacks? Come on, come on, right here, you stupid bear. And die already. Just die. Thank you. Back to the farmer. Dead now, thank you. Will you aid the horse lords? What fortuitous timing. We were at the precipice of departure. You have arrived not a moment too soon. These heights are in pristine condition. We should be able to barter for what we need to survive once we arrive in Edoras. Blessings upon you for your aid. Alright. Nobody need anything else before I return to the meat hall? No? Okay. Great. Uh... Let us, Travel let us build some of this stuff that we have. We'll aid you as best we may. There's no agility, no. Okay, Globes of the Meat Hall Defender. Where are they? Because I do want to equip those. Yep. I'm gonna take those. lot of stuff in here.
I'm not sure about that film. But this should be enough for a while. Let us go back to the meat pool. What business have you with the Rohirrim? I am encouraged that we were able to prevent this ladder beast from overwhelming the people of Faldon. With what danger behind us, I look only to facing the orc threat. You have my gratitude, Beryathan. Thank you for your help. Northwolf seems ready to focus on the task at hand now that his mind is at ease. Ozzin has been heard worrying about the crofters and their lack of preparation. Speak with Ozzin and inquire about lending a hand so that he may concern himself with his own readiness. Alright, so we'll be helping the farmers now, it seems. Yeah. Let us go. But first, um, we got this altar up in Norcroft, which I enjoy very much, especially when we have matching colors, of course. I do. I do think this is the best gear of East Rohan, the best war tip gear. The Rohirrim will need your aid. Hail, friend. Thane Elfmar has given word that the Elf Ward are to prepare their steeds and equipment for what will be a dangerous assault against their home. I must keep focused upon this task, yet I cannot help but be concerned for the people of Aldan. The crofters are terribly unready for the coming siege. Without proper preparation, many are certain to die fighting for their land and home. May I entrust you with aiding these people of merit? Lend them your skill and I will see that you are rewarded for your travel. Uh, so yeah, the farmers I wanted to fight, they do help, sorry, are only here. This table master we have missed. Not anymore. You with the Rohirrim. The Rohirrim have need of your services. Hail to you, Warden. I imagine you are familiar with siege tactics, defensive positioning and the like. Do our farmsteads appear ready to withstand an enemy's charge? I believe that more must be done to protect our homes. I beg of you, assist us in boarding the opening. A well-boarded window will make it difficult for an orc to penetrate or to easily peer inside to look for prey. Use the planks I have cut to cover the windows of unprotected homes. Yeah. One. Any more windows around this house? This one here. Come on, do it. Hitrick we have already helped. Another window in here. Will you aid the Rohirrim? Adliot. Oh dear Adliot. He was my husband, killed by orcs during our walk along the western hillside. He stood alone against them so that I might escape, but now everything in Faldam reminds me of his tragic death. I cannot bear to stay here much longer. Please, traveler, I beg of you this one favor. Before I flee to start a new life in Edoras, I ask for vengeance for Adlia, the orc who slew my husband was a large brute called Gat by those with him. Ensure that Gat is never able to harm another man, and I will see to and I will see you to your re reward. Any more windows in here? It's not. These are the last ones. The 
The Rohirrim will need your aid. A few men have reported horses missing, as orc poachers have come and abducted them during the cover of night. The tracks from town lead east and to the south, towards the mountain pass. I beg of you, please release our steeds from the enclosures of the orcs. No doubt they have some vile intention for the steeds that we have taken such care of. Be most cautious, that area has grown rather dangerous of late. And we're missing one more farmer. Here, that we have it. Our success depends upon our strength. Will it is said that a farmer is only as effective as his tools, and I am surely lacking many of the tools which now I now require. I have need of many of the tools I have lent to my friends and neighbors. I foresee them being invaluable in the coming days. Might you gather up many of the items I have loaned out and return them to me? In particular, I am seeking my hammer, pitchfork, lantern, and an old bow. Speak to the other crofters around Faldham and inquire about the items. These tools will be put to good use when the siege begins. Our mission is dire. I would be happy to return the Odin's pitchfork. I appreciate his loaning it to me. It la I last used it at Sahart's table. If you are looking for it, I would start there. And his table is... Which one this? Ah, yeah. The pitchfork. Who else has their things? Will you aid the horse lords? Deodun loaned my husband his lantern as a favor. You are more than welcome to take it. I last saw it laying near the windmill. We have it. Now for the hammer and the hunting bow. Okay. Hard to see among all these crops. But I know what they are doing. What brings you to these lands? I have already talked to the Odun, so we need to look somewhere else. What brings you to these lands? Our homes are now much more difficult to infiltrate. A welcome trade once the fighting begins. Thank you for the assistance. If our advanced efforts have saved the life of even a single crafter, then they then they were worthwhile. Will you aid the horse lords? The Odin's hammer was loaned to me, but I cannot recall where I have placed it. Oh yes, I remember now. I was using it on the barrels by the stable. I must thank the Odin for his generosity. The barrels by the stable. Are you talking about these? Stable or another stable? Ah. This one here it seems. Yeah, the hammer. Is there a loaned item inside town? Yeah. Mission is dire. You are aiding the Odin Bergathan? You have reminded me. I am in possession of the Odin's hunting bow. Might you take it to him? I hope he enjoys the improvements to it. The grip is more secure and the limbs should have a good flex to them. I was tuning it by the stables just outside the mid hall. Just outside the mid hall. 
Yeah. This wasn't hard. And now, Welcome let us take the friend. chance to talk to the Forge Master or Reforge. No good legacy is in here. No biggie. Back to the rune. What brings you to these lands? Thank you for returning all of my loaned items. My tools will be put to good use when the time is right, and the assailants will learn the folly of underestimating a prepared crafter. Okay. Now, bring the speed. With revenge. They are on opposite sides of the map. Okay, so this should be the hill where um, Enswit's husband was killed. It is not far. That's right, you die. Stupid disarm, stupid lag. I mean, it wasn't hard, it was just annoying. To these lands. I know that nothing will bring Adliot back to me, but I feel a sense of closure in knowing that he has been avenged. Thank you, Brayathan, for accepting my request. I shall depart for the King's City, but will honor Adliot's memory with each passing day. For the time being, I'm focused only on the stolen horses now. Is that there on the distance where the orcs are located? Okay. Come on over here. The orc forces have been set free from the orc pen. Not simple. You're sure there is no other quest in this little orc camp? Will you aid the horse lords? It is good to know that our friends have been released to safety. We must be vigilant, night and day, to stop the orcs from any more of this trickery. The people of Faldam owe you much for your help. A friend of horses will always be welcome here.
What brings you to these lands? Knowing that the people of Valdan will be ready for what comes is of great assurance to me. There are few men who would go to such great lengths to aid us. It is my pleasure to call you friend, Veriathan. My mind will now rest solely upon thoughts of victory in the coming battle. Okay, who's next? Back to the Thane and we'll see who's next. Thank you for your help. Your help? Your helpful deeds have calmed Ozin's concerns. Valuable will be his strength in the coming days. I must request one more favor of you. Langfrey, one of the wisest of the Eldward, has been concerned with another foe. Please speak with him and learn of his distress. Langfrey. Langfrey. Uh, what do we have here? Seed of the Guardian, Seed of the Minstrel, Seed of the Hunter, this one Seed of Victory, I think. The Rohirrim have need of your services. The Elfworld alone must defend the people of Faldham. Revival Ward sits fortified to the north, unwilling to send aid to us, and the people under Thane Mildred's watch have been trampled in the wake of the orcs heading west. When their wicked blades turn towards Faldham, it will come from the north and from the west. My thoughts dwell ever in a different direction. I look towards the danger from the east. We have seen much activity of orcs in the mountain passes leading towards the east wall. I fear these orcs plan to ambush our flanks when the force from the north approaches. We cannot allow ourselves to become surrounded. The strike against the orcs that dwell along the pass to the east, and we shall observe how they respond. Our success depends upon our strength. Will you aid us? My focus lies upon the Ninkai orcs, plotting and scheming in the eastern mountain passes. They are a new but unsettling threat to the elf world. There is but one course of action if we are ever to delay their treachery, to confront and defeat their leader. You must reach the enemy camp, Veriathan, locate and overthrow the Ninkai Taskmaster. His defeat should throw the lackeys into a state of panic and chaos, granting us an opportunity to better prepare our defenses before dealing with the rest. All right, so we are getting to that orc camp indeed. That seems, yeah, fitting. It was weird not attacking this camp, being so close to the town. can fight him and get more quests. You have discovered a container filled with a mixture of orc acid. Taking these dangerous acids away from the Ninkai tribe would be wise. the White Hand War Camp and what else do we have here? The Ninkai have stockpiled barrels of explosive black powder and threatened to use them against the walls of Faldam. Having infiltrated the York encampment, you have gained an opportunity to ignite the powder cakes while they still remain within enemy territory.
finally some solar artifacts in here. It's been a while. I, I don't think we have seen any of this in the Norcroft thus far. The only downside to the area so far. care of this scout over here. Oh, come on. What happens if we enter here? Where does it take us? Oh, further into the mountain. Very well, because yeah, I was wondering where we could find more of those black powder barrels. Give you ornate cash. Yeah, I do need one of those. Oh, we can destroy this from the other side of the wall. Awesome. Awesome, great. Now, one more file, one more powder keg. Should be able to get those two in here. Yeah. Taking the files away from the orcs was a wise decision. The mixture with, within appears to be highly corrosive, produced as a weapon to be brandished against the Eorlingas. Just need to find the leader, the war master, I think it was. This shouldn't take too long. Pouring a cash. Where is he? You have encountered Dargum, the Nink High leader. Okay, there he is. We meet again, man. I must thank you for having allowed me to skip from Stangard. Do you realize the destruction you could have prevented had you simply finished me when you could have? No matter, I have been summoned to the side of my wise master. You will not capture me a second time, that's right. Grazad, take care of our little problem. They must not return to their friends in the village below. You are not escaping me this time. You you cannot be. Oh. 
Oh, come on, he escaped again. The next time we we meet Dargan, you wouldn't be, you won't be this lucky. I can assure you that. You have my word. I didn't expect to see you again here. You should have fled to your home or to a rotting hole in some mountain. You should know by now to leave the Rohirrim alone. Okay, let us leave this camp. Let us go back to Lankfrith. In Faldam, we are not far away, really. Just need to avoid some of these orcs. Perfect. Anything else in here worth noting? Warden's Club of the Third Age. Give you bridle. Might be useful, maybe not. I know what else I'm missing. I don't have any settings or gems in my bridles. And that is also a huge setback. So maybe I need to deconstruct some of them and, and get me some of those. Lords. The Ning Hai seems shaken by your unexpected interference. I expected the orcs to retaliate, but they seem satisfied to have shrunk back into the mountains beyond our watch. Perhaps they had not expected such strong resistance from the residents of Faldon. Fine work, Briathan. There's really one less opponent to concern ourselves with in the coming hours. Alright, stick level 29. What business have you with the Rohirrim? You return unscathed. Remarkable! When I heard the sound of each blast resounding across the plains, I feared for your safety. I can see now that you had that you had matters under your control. Your clever plot of sabotage has surely thrown the Ninkai plans into ruin. Without their furtive weapons to aid them, they have no hope of easily penetrating our walls. Will you aid the horse lords? It is regrettable that their leader was able to flee, but if this Dargum has truly fled from the Ninkai encampment, the result is much the same to me. Without a taskmaster's commands, the remnants of their tribe will likely disband their plot and set out for easier prey. Knowing that this danger has subsided, I must now concentrate entirely on the coming siege of Faldhan. Praises upon you, Vryathan, you are a worthy ally. Okay, so we'll need to talk to Thane Elfmore now about our successes. But I think we'll leave that report for the next episode. Join me next time and we'll continue helping the people of Faldham. For the time being, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.